hello everyone today i'm going to show you how to use or edit videos using windows 10 so actually if you are using windows 10 there is an app that comes with windows 10 which is free that you can edit your photos and videos just follow this video until the end of my tutorials and then you get done with everything i'm saying there are problems of editing videos uh photos will be solved with done based on 101 in five minutes if you want to use windows 10 to edit your videos to be like this Alright, let's jump straight to our PC. Go to the search bar and then you type video editor. When you get video editor, you click on video editor. The, the editor is, is going to open automatically. And then you go to new project. You click on new project. When you click on new project, the app will open like this. And then you are going to see name your video. Name your video. You give your name on a video. Just say, uh, new project new project new video one you can give any name you want just give it and then click on ok now the app is actually open this is free don't worry you just if you read here you are going to see your project library is empty add photos and videos clips to get started so i actually like to add from here there are two options you can actually drag and add from here or you just add, click this plus button when you click the plus, plus button is going to show you from this PC from my collections from my web so you choose wherever your photos or your videos are safe so for me in my situation here my photos are saved in my PC so I'll click on my PC and then the, the app will directly take you to where your photos are so here as you can see this is where my photos are I'm going to let's say just select a few of my photos to select photos you can just control you control C and then you click on the photos you click on the photos you are going to use or the videos you are going to use just click on the photos click click click, click. and then you click on open they are actually going to upload on the program as you can see here now I have all my photos or let's say my videos if you have videos or photos is the same yeah so when you get them like this the first thing you are going to do is read down here right down here you, you see add title you click on title because for anything video or photos to start with you have to start with a title you start with you click on add title and then you click on text as you can see when you click on title and text right above here on the top right hand corner you are going to see title you type your title my title should be my school let's see my school yeah this is my title we are not done here with the title now with the title you have to modify the title if you click here you are going to see how the modification goes if you click here see you see it's up to you you can choose whatever you want like this one this is how it's going to the data is going to appear and then right down here when you come to layers layer you are going to if you click here if you want your title to go on the left or to be centralized you put it like this if you want it to go above you can click on here and then if you want it to go down yes you see these options you can actually click with me i want my title to be centralized so i'm going to click here cool. so when you are done with your title you can click done as you can see we have a title already this is my title so if i play here if i drag this up and bring it and then i play here you are going to see this is how my title is going to appear Good. we are done with our titles now to bring the photos down actually here this is where you are supposed to bring the, the photos and videos how do you bring them you can just click on any video or any photo depending on what you want to start with and just bring it here 
you can click here and just track it here you can just click the photo and just bring it here and if you want to change the position let's say i want to change this position i want this position to come to the first i'll just click here and then replace it like this you understand if i want it to go back this way i want this photo to be the third photo i'll click it and bring here if i want this photo to come to the first position i'll click and then bring here this is how the program works and don't forget the the way you are you are putting your photo that is how the video is going to play yeah the video will start from the title the second the third the fourth that's how it's going to play and then you just drag and add drag and add drag all your photos like this and you add them on just drag all all and add yes actually let's say we are done with our photos now let's go to the modifications uh as you can see from here if we say look at this photo it's not as beautiful as you want look at the, the black black spaces here we want to remove this spaces you go right down here here you click on this icon when you click on this icon you are going to see remove black bars or you click on remove black bars you see the black bars are going off you click on this photo you want to remove this black bars you go here again you just click on this up and then do it on all your photos so that you make your photos look nice and beautiful yes you just go and click on this just click here oh this one is not having so you go to the next the next photo which is this just click and then you remove the black bars what about this you remove all to make the photos beautiful yeah let's see this one is okay this one is okay this one is okay this one is okay so actually we are done with okay this one this one is the last one we are done with removing the black bars i'm going to teach you this one is when you want if you want to rotate this photo you can rotate the photo using this imagine just imagine that your photo came like this and then you don't like the position of the photo you can use this arrow here to actually bring it to the right order yes and then to filter you go to filters let's say you don't like the color of this photo so you want to click you want to change the filters look at this as you click on any filter it's going to change the color of the brightness of the photo and then when you are done you click on done good let's go to the next uh effect if i want to delete i will delete from here let's go to the effects mm -hmm. so when you have a photo like this you want to add effects like like how let's say i want to add an effect there are a lot of effects here as you can see you can choose any let's say I, I want breaking news i'll just click and then drag and put you can put it in any position you want you can bring it here you can put it here let's say i'll bring it here and put it here yes my effect you can still rotate you can rotate it if you want if you can do anything you want with it. Mm -hmm. you can bring it down you can bring it anywhere it's up to you yes i want to put it here okay now and then when you are done you click on done yes let's say in this same photo i need to add uh motion you go on motion you click on motion and then you add motion means zoom in to zoom in the center zoom out zoom in let's say i want to zoom out i've added an, an, my motion i want the photo to zoom out so you click on done okay we can choose another photo let's choose this one okay i want to add effects on this photo let's say i want to add these birds i want this bird to actually come to play yes you just click and then you play here good i've added the birds on this same photo if i want to add anything or let's say go to the next photo and click on the next photo and then add motions and my motion to zoom right yes I click on done on the same photo if i want to add effects i can add effects add effects let's say i want to add this life put the life here it is already there and then you click on done at the end of this video you are going to see all these uh, effects that you are putting the duration of the the your video if you want to change the duration you can click on duration if you want this video to play only on seven seconds five seconds three seconds it's up to you you can play Let's say I want seven seconds. Yeah, this one is done. Okay. 
So to add a title, you know already to add a title. Now the duration, you know. The text. To add a text, okay. Actually, if you want to add a text on any video or any photo on this app, just click on the text and then you come here. Right up here, you type. You type. Let's say, uh, first floor. Let's say first floor. That's my example. And then you can still use this to, if you want the writing to be like this, if you want the writing to appear like this, it's up to you. If you want this to appear like this, you just click on top of this to scroll down. Yes. So to me, this one is okay. This is how the, 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 the photo will play. You see live and this option. And then you click on done when you are done. So you can actually apply these motions on all your photos, all your videos. Yes, okay, now you can add what, whatever photo or video you want to add a motion, a text, an effect, filters. Just click on the photo and then you go right here and then you add whatever you are adding and then you click on done. Good. So we are not done yet. Now, to end this program, if you look right up here, you are going to see background sounds. For some of us, we cannot. We, we like to play uh, photos or videos with sound. You can click on sound, as you can see background sound, as you see custom audio. On background sound, we have already made uh, sounds which came with the, the app. You can play the, the, the sounds actually to listen to what the sounds are actually. It's up to you. you can choose any sound you want now on custom audio you this is custom audio you can actually add your audio from your file that is from your pc or anywhere you can download any sound any music and then you upload it and then you click on done yes this is how this program works and then when you, you are done with all these processes the last point i'm going to teach you is here if you want to actually see your, your photos properly you click on this one view medium you we are going to see like this if you want to see them if you want to minimize them so that you can see them properly too you can still minimize from here view small and then here when you are done with everything to save your video you go to finish videos here yeah. finish videos let's say uh you want to save your video you click on finish videos here on finish videos you are going to see high quality you click on this you will see low, medium, high. I actually, I would recommend you to always use high because medium is not good, low is not good. So we click, this is free, this is free, don't worry, this is free. And you click on export. When you click on exports, yes, it's actually going to take you to ask you where should I save this video. It's either you save it in your PC, your document, you are downloading music, pictures, videos. Choose wherever you, to me, I want to save this on my desktop. So I actually save it on my desktop. And then I click on export. As you can see, the video is uploaded. At the end of this, we are going to see how the video actually plays. So let's. That was how to use free windows to edit videos. If this video helps you learn how you can edit videos or photos on Windows 10, please give this video a thumbs up. As always, if you want to see more of these technical videos with Don Bison 101, just hit the subscribe button to get notifications on my new content. And lastly, if you want me to cover any other content, just leave me a comment below. Those who are YouTubers, those who are doing their videos, like marriage ceremonies, everything, you can use this app to gather your photos. You don't need to download any app or pay anywhere or premium anywhere. 
follow my videos follow my steps and then just do your normal videos at home compile them and then you enjoy with your families youtubers uh, music uh, producers artists family heads whatsoever this video is very important for you thank you guys and then see you next in my subsequent technical basic computer videos bye bye until then